Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is the Tactical Mind and welcome back to another video. My name is Alost. Today we're going to be breaking down the site cafeteria and garage and consulate. And without further ado, let's go and jump right into it. Alright. So of course, first operator is going to be Kahid. Um, I chose Kahid over Bandit for a few reasons, mainly because we need... So the first op we're going to be going over today is Kahid. Of course, both his ring persons will be going down on the garage <clears throat> door. And his main role will be anchoring down and holding down the garage um, with himself and another operator. We'll get into that later on. So of course, now they made it to where Kahid's one ele first electric clock can uh, cover three. Reinforced panel such as like this, so you can only use one of these to cover all three, and then you can possibly save the other one or use another one for hatch or so. Um, the other operator going to be using today is mute, which he can assist with this wall. Okay, Five seconds left. so it's not completely necessary for uh, Kahi to be used both his claws on, on, bombs. Op four hatch <clears throat> on, the, on the garage door. Um, reason why I say to put them on hatches is because sometimes if the roamer does not does his job uh, to the best he can. The attackers can easily open up and get another man at this point on the defenders. Holy shit. <laughs> Took my whole fucking clip to open it. Anyways, and of course this gives uh, the attackers a little bit more of an advantage through toss down utility smokes, uh, gridlock mines, or, or gridlock tracks, whatever you want. Uh, attackers throw down. Same with this attack over here, right? So I would say uh, electrifying at least this hatch, and this will be nice. And of course, there'll be a mute gym right here. As for where uh, Kai is mainly gonna be playing at, I and mean, there's gonna be a nice angle over here for you to occasionally look at if anyone gets a peek or a ping um, of an attacker being down in this area in the hallways. So of course, they are most likely gonna not see you. In fact, I've already tested this. If they are running an ACOG and they do not drone out the room first. You see how when I first enter the room and I'm aiming down my side already, I don't see this hole right here. Because just how thick the ACOG lenses is around, the casing around, it's going to block that out obviously, right? So most people, they like to start right here and they will just scan through the room and they won't see it until right here, until the corner of the screen, right? Um, of course by then they'll be dead if you were sitting there watching that camera <clears throat> or sitting and watching that angle. So that's a nice little uh, angle you can hold down. But of course as Kaiheed you're going to be playing around white van, you're going to be playing around uh, the yellow pillar right here um, to prevent them from getting to the objective. Uh, it's not too much in depth, not too much to talk about Kaiheed. So Maestro is going to assist uh, Kahid out in garage, okay? He's going to reinforce his last panel wherever it's going to be on uh, the garage door. And his first camera will be placed near these wooden planks on the side of the white van in the garage. And of course, this is to block off if they open up this uh, garage door somehow and they come on and start planning, they smoke it out. This Maestro Cam is in a perfect position to see through the smoke and to zap whoever is uh, planting the, uh, the bomb. Ten seconds. Of course, he can also has a really nice line of sight all up to the yellow stairs and he can give Five great call outs to, uh, to the roamers that, hey, blah, 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 is pushing up into bomb piano room. Secure. You know, that'll be the uh, roamers' job to take care of that. <clears throat> Gonna rotate right here. So you don't have to have a rotary here, <clears throat> excuse me, um, but if you want to, you can. Uh, you might 
there'll be some reasons because of course I don't like this to rotate because if you're an attacker you can get line to sight all the way from servers to back here and I absolutely hate that rotate um, even up on stairs so that's why I consider or try to reconsider placing this somewhere else I'm gonna get on top of this uh, kitchen part all right on top of the stove and places my show cam. Of course, you can have coverage all over the A site. So you can see in that corner, see if someone is playing down this hallway. Um, pretty self explanatory. So, where my store is going to be playing at, it's going to be right behind this fridge, or what else you're going to call this door thing, right? So, he's going to be playing right behind here, really close to Kahid. So, if they ever need each other, also, it's, oh, the second reinforcement will be right here. Why I put it down is because attackers like to pre fire through this wall, and of course, if I am sitting or if my show player is sitting right by this fridge, they won't be able to do that to me. <clears throat> so that'll be my uh, protection. But again, like I was saying, so Kahid and Maestro can be helping and working together uh, real closely to defend the site, right? While the other three operators well, actually have one, of course, playing right next to Maestro as well, uh, and the other two will be roaming around. So how I'm going to be playing this, we're going to have a pulse on the opposite side of this map over here playing in uh, the survey, right? He is going to be sw pretty much sitting in this closet and have a rotate waiting. And he will detect him to come down from the bottom of Spiral to coming down the second stairs down here. And he will be able to give us call outs. He will be able to give uh, mute. We're going to have mute play in this room, room along with me and Jaeger, the other roamer, right? So he's going to be giving us call outs and pings of where the enemies are at. Yo, uh, two enemies are sitting in the bottom of Spiral. You know, they're holding an angle, uh, one down into objective and one down hallway objective, right? So, of course, you can come out free fire. You got that fucking Alda if you're playing this. Just fucking free fire that shit for days. Um, and that's it. Yeah, that's over my show. Alright. Next up, we got Mute. First me gem is going to be going right here on this drone hole to prevent any possible twitch drones because of course in a ranked game if you're defending first you're going to be in Thatcher and nobody really bans twitch anymore so or I guess you were never able to at the time I guess. Um, <clears throat> so of course that stops your drone from entering from this drone hole. Um, continue with the other three jammers. Ten seconds to insertion. Put one in this corner of the silver fridge and cafeteria. Five seconds. One in the hallway Top leading to the site. And the last one, if you want to, you can either help out Kahid if he needs to, needs it to place it down the garage door, or you can place it at the bottom of the yellow stairs or about like right here. So honestly, the last timer can be, uh, I guess, up to whoever uh, it's here. So for the setup, it's going to be vital for the meat player to be playing meat shotgun. What the fuck am I getting stuck on? <laughs> this game, bro. Okay. Uh, because you're going to be playing pretty much in the security room 90% of the round. Possibly you might go to cafeteria if Maestro needs the help, right? And what we're doing is we're going to punch all the holes at the bottom here. We're going to barricade this up. Barricade this. <clears throat> so I had a lot of lower ranks ask me what the fuck is the purpose of doing this, right? And the site. It's to see feet. So yes, I'll have pulse on the opposite side to give me call outs, but in case he misses them or I don't know, a few slip by or whatever, or they just you know they get out of his range. Um I won't have to prone to see their feet. I can be sitting right here and see if anyone's staying up or hugging that wall, right? If you're the attacker coming down the hallway, you won't be able to see. Watch this. You won't be able to tell unless you drone. Look at this. Not unless they're hugging up against this wall as well. You're not going to be able to tell if the defender is up on there. So, which is why it's a powerful spot and a good chokehold area for these uh for the defenders to use against the attackers. Uh, 
Oh yeah, Malumi is giving me reinforcements from, by the way. To prevent getting shot from yellow. Another thing to say to those who don't know this, but most people do. Watch this. This is bulletproof, right? All bulletproof. And this chair is not gonna fucking save you. It will not save you at all. Watch this shit. Yeah, look at that. So just because it's not getting destroyed or whatever, see that right there? It is not gonna protect your head. So this desk, it is bulletproof. It's all metal, even this little box right here, it's all metal. It will protect you from against body shots. So maybe you can prone. Um, I guess the only downside of proning behind this box right here and trying to like peek at the bottom of spiral is if the enemies get dumb enough to do it too. Oh. <clears throat> oh, excuse me with the fucking sneeze. So yeah, for some god fucking reason, if an attacker decides to do this and just slide on in, if you're playing mute even with SMG 11, you should be able to fucking zap him up pretty fucking quickly. Before he even gets to see you, because you'll see his fucking feet and shit all crawling and sticking out. So again, Mute has a really cool, uh, just a little, little room to himself to lock down, right? He watches this room. It's a buffer room between the hallway and cafeteria, so he can switch to whatever direction he needs to help out the most. Um, if my show, again, if he's in trouble, you got a shotgun and you got a C4, you use it. Uh, again, if, if there's a shield up or someone coming up here, maybe you can shock the top part out. You know, just toss the C4 through that. God, my tosses are so shitty. Toss the C4 through that. I'm plat, I promise. <laughs> okay, we're just... I can't believe we're gonna put this in the video. We're just gonna let that fucking slide. <laughs> this will spice up my videos a little bit more. Make me, make me uh, look more alive than, uh, than what I am, I guess. I don't know. Um... <laughs> yeah, that's mute. Secure the area. Keep the bombs protected. Alright. So the first ADS is going to be going right over the drone hole. This is to, of course, block out any grenades. Uh, <clears throat> you're not know, going to need my toss in to get rid of uh, an electric claw or the mute chamber or whatever. ADS, of course, prevents that from happening. Second ADS will be in cafeteria. It's going to be right where that mute chamber was, right above it. And the last one is going to be placed right behind this desk. Left. And of course it's going to help protect Mute from any nades or any uh, projectiles might be sent towards me this way. Increase and barbed wire will be put down in the bottom of the yellow. <clears throat> Along with, don't know why I didn't do it over here. But the cafeteria door as well. <clears throat> so I feel like being a roamer is probably the most important job for the defenders is because you slow down and you pretty much try to waste as much time as possible for the attackers. So Jaeger's most important slash main job will be protecting piano room. Okay. Uh, typically, when you are attacking the constant garage, a buck will be sent up to piano with possibly another fragger or backed up by support players to clear out any roamers. So wasting time or possibly getting someone up uh, to open the hatch like a mute or a maestro. Um, or any one of the shock and really again I hate any of those operators can uh, can do um, opening the hatch for a good rotate or just a scare them to sit up there and wait for the team to come by however you like to handle the situation you're the best right of course when you're done placing your ADS's you're gonna go to the bathroom and into lobby and reinforce both hatches Unlike what I said, Jaeger, you can <clears throat> you can possibly just play in piano room. He can play up uh, on the floor above him and watch hatch and see if anybody comes by or comes in, see if he can get any audio cues. Uh, he can sell top of spiral. He can be pretty much anywhere on the first floor, right? Uh, just waiting for the attackers to come by or enter through anywhere. Um, that's pretty much it for, for Jaeger. 
Bro, the music. <laughs> Alright, so um, Pulse has a pretty simple job, just like a Jaeger does, except he doesn't have any extra um, to throw down. So his two. I just left the lobby. His two hatches will be the one in V's office and the other one in lobby. It's gonna be lobby closet. So literally all Pulse has to do. And then he goes down in the server room and he just pretty much sits in there and waits. Down to five seconds. And these hatches are to protect himself. Bomb location secure. So yes, although he does have one hatch open right here, uh, pretty much. You can, of course, if you're playing the pulse, um, you can rearrange however you want to reinforce these three hatches. Maybe you want to keep that one open and keep these two closed, however you want to play. Now, I just now thought of this, but it's probably smarter to reinforce that one because you're probably going to be most likely playing in here the most. Could be playing in here. You could have a rotate. You could be playing in here. Or again, rotate right here, and you could be playing in these hallways, right? So you can be playing in any one of these rooms. If you want to barricade this off, feel free to, although that's probably going to attract, that is definitely going to attract some attention, especially when they see what side uh, the barricade was barricaded on, of course. Um, so pros about being in this room is I can see anyone coming around from bottom of spiral and give callouts to my teammates. That is what Pulse is going to be doing. And or if they are unavailable or busy or attacking someone themselves, Pulse can just, you know, continue to stalk them. And then when the time is right, you can strike. Shoot, take out whoever needs to take out, right? Come around to the side. So same situation over here. He can sit underneath these stairs and detect anyone that is above these stairs and we're coming down, all right? Or once more, he could be like hugging against his wall, seeing people are coming from around this corner. And when people are, put that away. Pop up, take out anyone who's uh, in your line of sight. Um, so I hope this is a short and sweet video. Uh, there's not really much to go over. Um, I pretty much all explained what I thought there needed to be explained for each and every operator in their role. I hope I simplified it as easy as possible. Um, and I hope you guys like uh, this setup that I did. Alright, and that's all for today's video. I hope I kept it short sweet and simple for you guys out there. Um, the whole bottom floor is pretty much covered for the most part uh, by the defenders. Uh, it is a very powerful site along with the roamers just defending the second floor piano room. Um, so the attackers will not get into the, uh, open up the floor obviously and make the defenders lives harder. It's pretty much the only um, room I guess you need to, that, that needs critical attention. Apart from that though, it's a pretty strong and solid site. Um, and I hope everyone enjoyed this setup. Again, if you appreciated it, if you, if you like what you just saw, please like, subscribe. Uh, it will show my, it will show your appreciation. Um, and it means a lot to me. I know I keep saying every video and if you see all those, it, it, it generally means a lot to me. Um, I believe I've come so far from what I started doing and I did not think I was going to get to this point. Um, and of course, I want to keep reaching more and more milestones and make better content for you guys and, and, and do more things. Um, so once again, thank you guys for everything. Uh, my name is Alas, and have a good day.